What's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Thank you for joining me today. We are already in our first live match here. It is Elsiop. He's a beast. He plays for Nova Esports. You guys know who Elsiop is. Today he's going to be playing his signature bridge spam kind of control deck, but it's mostly bridge spam. It has the bandit and the battle ram, and he plays this deck so incredibly aggressively. I've probably covered this deck or a deck very similar to it on the channel before, but I haven't covered someone as aggressive as Elsiop. I've been watching his gameplay all season in CRL China, and this guy is just one of the most, if not the most, aggressive pro players I've ever seen. So I thought that, you know what, I've shared a lot of kind of hybrid control in spam decks before, but I've never shared a bridge spam, at least I don't think I have by a pro player who plays as aggressively as Elsiop. And today we are right in the first match here. We are 9-0 inside a Grand Challenge. I'm Instead of doing like a deck review and, and checking out the player's profile and stuff, I figure let's just hop right into it. A lot of you liked that in yesterday's Soaking video. And speaking of Soaking, he'll be at the World Finals too with Team Queso. And the day before that on the channel, I had uh, Royal on from Immortals from North America. So three CRL uh, powerhouses in a row here on the channel trying to bring you guys the best best pro breast what the best pro content <laughs> i could possibly do so what we want to do today is really pay attention to the uh to the aggressiveness of lcf and see if that can translate into any tips for you guys now if you don't have your royal ghost uh leveled up i would consider subbing in the dark prince in that spot and if you don't have ewiz by the way his last two cards are ewiz and pekka if you don't have ewiz here's the deck by the way guys uh if you don't have ewiz i would go or if you don't have he was leveled up. I think most people probably unlocked Ewiz at this point. It's a kind of an older legendary card. But if you don't have Ewiz leveled up, go ahead and uh, I would sub in actually Zappies in this deck for Ewiz. So here we go, guys. And Bandit, by the way, pretty important to this this version of Ridge Spam. But if you don't have her, maybe go with a, uh, a Dark Prince. But you know, with the Battle Ram and the Bandit, you're still going to be playing this deck incredibly aggressively. And hopefully, we'll see that in these live matches. Again, we're nine and zero inside a Grand Challenge. So here comes a big counter push from Elsiop and just continuing to spam at the bridge here. Another bandit, minions, Ewiz, Battle Ram, Royal Ghost, all in that left lane for us. And another Royal Ghost. See how he's absolutely relentless when he knows he has his opponent on their heels. A Battle Ram on the left side. Royal Ghost connects with the Miner. Poison is down. He just absolutely unloads Elixir Wise on the opponent. And it's really paying off. It paid off in that push, that's for sure. And the thing is, what I really want to focus on, again, guys, is not just, okay, he plays aggressive, so what, Ash? It's a bridge spam deck. Yeah, we get it, dude, right? It's more than just that, I, I think, right? It's that LCOP continuously against uh, different matchups, different, all kinds of matchups, not just one specific matchup, he continuously makes plays when he doesn't have 10 elixir. So he is not the type, very rarely, very seldom, do you see Elsiop actually wait till he has 10 elixir before he places a card and cycle things in the back. He is really taking the name Bridge Spam to heart here. Doesn't mean that you're just going to aggressively uh, go in and just, oh, he's already in a match here. So here we go, match number 11. So we're 10 and 0 into match number 11. He doesn't just aggressively just spam all his cards at the bridge randomly. But if he knows the opponent doesn't have any good counters, or enough good counters if he overwhelms them, he will play He will play six elixir worth of cards when he has six elixir in hand. He'll play three elixir cards like a bandit or a royal ghost when he only has three elixir in hand. And hopefully we'll see more of that in this matchup here. So we go aggressive again right into the hunter. And uh, they drop a minion horde, we drop the poison. We kind of baited out the poison, we use our zap as well. We clean up nicely and look at this, we get the barbarian to the tower and Oh, almost one Royal Ghost swing. So just like that, uh, well played. 1784 HP remaining on the opponent's left 
left tower. By the way, guys, I'm rocking the Nova jersey today. I want to remind you guys that Nova Esports is, I think, the only mobile esport team up for Org of the Year in the mobile esport or in the, in the esports awards. So I'll include a link if you guys want to show some love and uh, hey, vote them the Org of the Year. Check it out in the show notes below. So right off the bat here, the opponent decides to pump and he went in with a bandit. The opponent responded with a royal ghost. He responded with a royal ghost of his own. And here comes the battle ram and minion push. Again, minion horde uh, intercepting that at the bridge. We zap that away and look at that. I mean, a lot of elixir spent on the defense end to try to stop that push from Elsiop. And then we get some incidental damage with those minions as well. So the opponent opts to pump up again. He does have poison in hand, and there it is. So poison's down. Now what is he going to do? He only had like four or five elixir, and now he's going to go in with a bandit as well. Oh, and the bandit gets the charge right through that royal ghost. Going to take the tower down, and just like that, with about 10 seconds left in single elixir time. Ooh, this is going to be a tough push to stop. I was going to say he's up one tower to nothing, but make that one tower to one now. And now he has a big push. Did he lose? Okay. I was like, what, did he lose connection or something? The E-Wiz is down. The Royal Ghost is down, the Zap is down, the minions are down. Basically unloading defensively to try to keep his King Tower alive. And just like that, with about 45 seconds or so left in this match, it's going to be really anybody's game. We drop the poison on the two Musketeers in the right. Let's see how he handles this split musky. And the opponent pumps up here. So let's see how he plays this, guys. We have a bandit for the left musky. Gonna use a royal ghost on the right musky. Royal ghost comes down, bandit charges through him again. I don't care about a royal ghost, says the bandit. And then we have a poison coming down, a battle ram and minions. Just incredibly high pressure here again. The aggressive playstyle of Elsiop forcing a minor out of the opponent there. And it really mitigated a lot of the pump elixir advantage there just by going so aggressively, especially when you consider they dropped three musketeers, which was a nine elixir investment before they dropped that pump. Speaking of three muskies, one muskie to the right and a hunter. What is he going to do? He's going to poison the muskie and the hunter and he's going to unload again in the right lane. We have a bandit charging through. We have a zap coming down on the muskie. We have a bandit getting another charge off on the tower that's down to 540 HP and we have to deal with this de on defense though. We have one musketeer on the king tower. That's no good. We have the minions doing defense on the battle ram. Okay, so we keep the king tower intact with 1022 HP. A battle ram. Bandit in the pocket. Minions coming down. Bandit gets a charge off. Look at that nice bandit in the pocket there. You see what Elsiop did there, guys? He, he he made it look like he was just gonna absolutely stack the lane again with the minions and the battle ram and 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 uh, what else did he drop there? Minions, battle ram, royal ghost, whatever it was on the right side, and then he just went in with that sneaky bandit, evading those three musketeers, and he was able to pick off the victory there. Uh, and here we are, all just like that, guys. This might be a very fast video. I apologize, I like to make my videos a little bit longer than your average, I think, Clash Royale YouTube video, but hey, Elsiop, what can I do? The guy won't lose. We're going against Sergi here, ex Sergi from Boom Esports, and just like that, Elsiop starts the match out with a bandit, and again, showing the power of playing a little bit aggressively. It's not always going to work, but, you know, Sergi had a good answer in hand. He had the, the, the bats and, and the ice golem, of course, to stop that bandit's charge, but just a little bit slow, not necessarily expecting a bandit at the bridge as the first play. So sometimes it can work, sometimes it can't, but at the end of the day, it's only really three elixirs, so you can recover, especially with a deck like this. And that last matchup, I don't think he, he played P.E.K.K.A. once, did he, guys? Maybe he did, maybe he played it at, towards the end, I, I forgot, but uh, what? Wow. Just like that, again, the aggressiveness. He had the defending P.E.K.K.A. left over. He goes in with the Bandit, with the minions, and just like that, we take out the right tower here in our 12th match. And look at this guy, Sergi. He's playing Magic, Archer, and Royal Hogs. Did he not get the memo about the balance changes? I say that kind of tongue-in-cheek because I do think that people tend to overreact. And good for Sergi. He's obviously in the 12th match of a GC right now. We're using this deck. But I don't personally think that the Magic Archer is in a good spot at all. Just that retargeting speed really hurts him, especially against Swarm cards, against Bats, or against Goblins, against Minions, whenever he, against Skeletons, which are everywhere right now, he just seems to take forever to change his target. Have you guys noticed that? Do you guys still like the Magic Archer? Let me know what you think. Royal Ghost, on the other hand, I think is still an amazing card. You guys know I am an unabashed Royal Ghost fanatic. I, I love the card. I try to include him in every deck I play if I can, 
and even with a 9% HP uh, nerf, which was a lot, uh, I still think he's a really good card, and you can see him used uh, very effectively in these matches so far. A lot of damage coming onto the left tower. The P.E.K.K.A. does a pretty good job considering, right? I mean, P.E.K.K.A.'s not good against Swarm, but he had to go against all the Royal Hogs and all the Goblins from the Goblin Gang there, and he's able to both mitigate the damage onto the tower and stay at, or she, did I call P.E.K.K.A. a, did I call P.E.K.K.A. a he? Oh man, oh man, I apologize to everybody out there who is a, uh, a P.E.K.K.A. Or, or has a P.E.K.K.A. loved one out there. Shame on me for, uh, <laughs> for screwing up the identity of the P.E.K.K.A. Shame on me. Anyway, the P.E.K.K.A. was still alive is what I was trying to say. Minions down, really smart minions there to uh, kind of distract those bats and, a, and another really smart bandit. Bandit takes out the magic archer, then she charges back on the other side of the tower. Really well played there, very, very, very smart defensive placement by Elsiop. And just like that, he goes 12-0. Man. Well, guys, I guess that's going to be the video. I didn't intend for it to be, you know, I mean, I knew he was 9-0, uh, and 0, but jeez, I thought he would at least maybe get one loss, give us a nice 15, 16-minute video. Let's just give him, the, uh, give him the GG flawless because that's what it was. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video, a little bit shorter one today. Check out LCL's player stats and profile and, and vote Nova Esports, Esport Org of the Year. Again, all that information will be in the show notes. And a uh, huge shout-out again to uh, Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information in the description below. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.